For years now, you guys have been listening to me talk about an impending launch from the Shetland Islands, or Shetland as the locals call it. And a lot has been developing, but nothing has really happened, at least nothing tangible. Yes, we've seen construction going on at Saxavord. Yes, licenses have been issued by the CAA, but there's no immediate sign that any sort of launch is imminent. Granted, in June of 2023, RFA became the first European company to complete a full upper stage test with a staged combustion engine called the Helix, and they achieved a full flight duration of 280 seconds, and even announced that the RFA-1 upper stage was ready to fly. But what about the core stage? What about the first stage? Haven't seen a whole lot of evidence of that. So really, is this just a bunch of hype? Are we still years away from the first ever 100% European orbital mission launched from Western Europe? Well, no, absolutely not. Just yesterday, I received a notification from RFA and they asked me to make this public, although it pretty much is public at this point anyway, that their core stage was boxed up and shipped from Germany and has now arrived at Saxavord. So what's coming up next? A series of static fire tests with RFA-1, followed by a launch this summer. It could happen as soon as July. Seriously, we're talking a little over two months. But as most of us know, RFA-1 is not a particularly gigantic rocket. It's only about 50 meters tall, has a fairing diameter of only two meters. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the Electron, and it has a payload capacity of up to 1,300 kilograms up to a sun-synchronous orbit and 150 kilograms up to geosynchronous orbit. Oh yeah, incidentally, 300 kilograms all the way out to the moon. So it's capable of sending some small-scale lunar missions as well. But still, we're not talking Starship here. We're not even talking anything close to Falcon 9. Well, here's what's the big deal about RFA-1. Because they're utilizing off-the-shelf components derived from the German automotive Motive industry, this rocket can take off for as little as $5 million per launch. $5 million to deploy 1,300 kilograms, which means the cost per kilogram is roughly the same as Falcon 9 rideshare. That has the potential to change everything for the European launch market. At least as far as small satellites are concerned or small-scale spacecraft, Europe no longer has to worry about shipping their cargoes across the Atlantic, or at least that's the potential. And that's very important to European customers, because most European customers attach a huge amount of importance to things like carbon footprint and shipping your satellite over to Britain creates a much smaller carbon footprint, especially when you're not having to send your technicians transatlantic either, than it takes to ship a cargo all the way out to Cape Canaveral, or Boca Chica for that matter. But most importantly, at least as far as I'm concerned, European spaceflight fans have been waiting for decades for a 100% European orbital mission to lift off from a Western European spaceport. Ten years ago, all of this would have seemed completely impossible. It would have just been another pipe dream, another exciting story with a disappointing end. But that's not what's going to happen this time. Now, I'm not going to try to pass off any sort of unrealistic expectations here. I'm giving this rocket perhaps a 10% chance of actually delivering its payload to orbit. Yes, it is indeed carrying payloads from customers who aren't actually paying for the ride. The German space agency is paying for it, but nevertheless, it isn't just a dummy payload on board, and I think that's very important. But still, yeah, I'd give it a 1 out of 10 chance to be successful on the first try, especially given all the untried off-the-shelf components involved. But still, that's the way SpaceX does things, and that's the way these guys do things as well. 
And of course, I want to make the journey up to Shetland to cover this historic event, so if you'd like to support all of that, all the details are in the description. And until next time, stay angry about space. <laughs>